single people in the audience. Anybody who's single and looking? Yeah, shout it out. Let's hear you. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you are looking, and this one on the panel, yeah. have any? Yeah. Well, if you're looking to increase your odds of a second date, a new study from Match.com may have the answer. Researchers found a first date of sushi. If you order sushi, it increases your odds of a second date by 170%. What? And if, you, if you're dating, that's if you're dating a Democrat, or Republicans like it too, but if you're dating a Republican and you want a second date, then order Middle Eastern food. They like the hummus. What? This was Ironic, a study right? that was like a peacekeaping mission yeah. here. Ironic. Does that make like sense? What, what is what, well, the, the sushi, sushi? What's the sushi philosophy? Makes, because it's well, expensive. The sushi, yeah, expensive. I or think the more you, you spend, spend on a date, the, the more, more likely. you want a second date. Or do you think yeah. it's communal food? Like you order a sushi plate, you eat together. Is it kind of sexy? I don't, I don't know because I thought that was a very um, acquired taste. You know, it's it's fresh. You know, so it, is, it feels clean. So it's light. Uh, it's light. We should uh, ask raw. this one. It's raw. What's yeah. the first <laughs> date that you've gone on? Like, have you gone to a lot of sushi dates? No. I mean, I'm not concerned about where they take me at all. I want to know if they have all their eyes, teeth, nose. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best first date you've ever had? Well, I had a first date. I went to uh, Empanada Mamas. I love it. And them. they have all these different empanadas. But then, you know, you take a big girl out to eat, you better have a big checkbook. <laughs> I was ordering you know, everything. Those empanadas little... are little. That's yes, not like a real meal. It's like a snack. Oh, I was going to say, do you hold back at all? No, no, no. I'm like, you got to know up front that I have a big appetite. OK. <laughs> you, you, you know, you guys are married. I'm not. And at this point in Asian time, just are you ready to get married? Right up front. Then you that's know? not going to get a second date if you no. ask that on the first date. Well, I'm not having a first date at, like that. I'm having a first date probably at the bridal shop, a chapel. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> you going hot. All right, yeah. I got another hot. question for you. <laughs> would you date? Would you date your ex's friend? There's a survey that found that half of all men and 25% of women said that they would date an ex's friend, but half of women and a third of men would be upset with their friend if he or she dated their ex. Right. So first of all, would you date an ex's friend? I mean, I would, and I have. But it depends on how close you are with a friend. Uh, there is a would time... you wait before well, you do and, that? And here's my rule, my rule, too. I think if you've said, I love you in a relationship, that, that means it's your ex. But if you've gone on a couple of dates and you haven't said, I That's love true. you, then you can't claim that person. Well, you know what? I wouldn't probably, if they were married, I wouldn't go that far. But if it's somebody you if threw... If they're married. Like, if married. they were... Right, if they divorced. But if you throw him back in the pond, I'm gonna jump in there and catch him. No, but actually... <laughs> And Lily, I don't know if you agree, or, my, or for you and Michael, if I got divorced, I have two little kids. I actually would want to set up my ex with someone, because then I would know who's going to be a co-parent with my daughters. I actually think it would be a cool thing. That having I would somebody set that you, you might up not like. Something oh, you happened. would? Yeah, because okay. I know you'd be like a great Well, ain't you got some exes? Come on, yeah. money, put your money where your mouth at. My pool is small as well. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys familiar with the term resting bitch face, or RBF? Oh, yeah. yeah. I see one right there. That's yeah, a good no, one. No, she did a good one. Someone that it, orange. That right look, you know, of disdain or disgust that people have, even when they're angry about nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Celebs have supposedly ce celebs that supposedly have RBF include Kristen Stewart. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anna Kendrick is another one that they say. Yeah. I don't know. But there's apparently a scientific reason that some people have RBF. Researchers found that when resting bitch faces are in a neutral position, the corners of their lips are raised more than an average neutral face, and their eyes are more squinty. Yeah. Are any of you guys guilty? Of that? Have you ever been accused of I having a resting? I'm always accused because I shut shut down. I'm just letting people know right now. I don't have resting uh, bitch face. I have active bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> You know an RBF, when you see it, it, it looks like they, they smelled something a little funny. You know, you're kind of like, I don't know, like, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. that, that's the look, right? Do you ever put it on? Like, you yes. know, yeah. All the time. You do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's like an easy way to get people not to talk to you. Yeah. You know, it's like nobody wants to, like, if you're smiley, like, my husband is like really smiley and like super happy all the time, and we're in a store, salespeople approach him constantly because he looks so happy. Nobody ever talks to me in a store. Well, like, literally, <laughs> I am such a shopper, no one ever comes to talk to me. So what's your face, though? I don't know. It's just kind of, like, uninterested. Like, 
Oh. Oh. But do you make eye contact with him? He probably makes a lot of eye contact. He does make a lot of eye yeah. contact. Well, you I don't, shouldn't make eye contact. No, you no, no, no. Especially not in a store. You should never make eye contact with salespeople. They will get you. No, I, I look I look away. I look MB away. and I have happy faces, I think. We do. I don't know how, well. Mm.